A bye week for Idaho football means it's time to talk some hoops with Idaho men's and women's basketball as they prepare to tip off the 2015-16 season. And Idaho soccer in the driver's seat in the Big Sky Conference at 5-0. Head coach Derek Pittman breaks down his team's success and what could possibly lie ahead. Inside the Vandals, next. Hey, welcome into another week of Inside the Vandals. So glad you could be with us. I'm your host, Tom Purvis, and I'm joined now by men's basketball head coach, Don Verlin. Coach, thanks for being with us. Oh, you're welcome. Well, coach, a week into practice for you guys. Tell me, what are you most excited about so far for this year's team? Well, I've really liked the way this team has worked so far. We, we've got a lot of guys that are really on the same page and, and really working hard with a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm. That always makes you happy as a basketball coach. You talked about after the first practice, this team has put a lot of work in in the off season, the summer, the fall workouts. How much does that help when a team puts in almost the off duty time? Well, it, it helps a lot, uh, especially with this year's team. You know, even though we had nine returning guys coming back, we have five new guys, and and, and uh, Art McCurchin and and Perron Calendrette and Vic Sanderson have a great job of, of of helping our new guys get acclimated to our system and and you know, the, the time and the effort they spent this summer and this fall has been excellent to this point. You know, you guys have some new starters, four starters lost from last year, and do you normally expect uh, kind of a natural transition period, or do you have some groups that come in and they just go right away? Well, it's, it's always a little bit of both. Uh, you know, this group so far from, from, you know, I think we're nine practices in, um, has, has kind of gone right away. I mean, they, they've really acclimated to what we're doing. And, you know, again, I think the summer, uh, and the fall was, was so good that, uh, you know, our transition into practice has been a lot smoother this year than it has been in years past. So, I, you know, I'm excited about, uh, about this group. We, we've got a lot of guys that are really focused on, on getting better, and that's what we need to do. Year two in the big sky for you guys. How does it help, if at all? Does it make you more familiar? What, what is it? It helps a lot. Uh, you know, the big sky plays uh, a lot different uh, than the WAC. Uh, the big sky last year was a very good basketball conference with a lot of returning players. Uh, a lot lost to graduation this year. You know, even though we don't return a lot of starters, we, we return a lot of players who played significant amount of minutes. So uh, I think one year in the Big Sky really helps us. Uh, obviously, the travel is not, not tough, but just going to different venues, getting used to, to how teams play and what they're doing, and this, this style of play is, is really important as you head into year two. And, and we feel like we got a good, good grasp on all that. Looking back now, what are the differences between how the Big Sky plays compared to the WAC? Well, the WAC was a, what I like to say a big boy conference. There was always a lot of size, always a lot of meat around the basket. The, the Big Sky is just completely different. Uh, they play with a lot of small power forwards, a lot more quicker athletic guards than we saw on the WAC. And so it's a little different uh, in that perspective. I mean, you had, you know, New Mexico State and some of those teams that were just, you know, had monsters inside and, and, yeah, and they're not that way in the Big Sky. But the Big Sky is a very good shooting conference. I mean, they were second in the country last year in three-point field goal percentage. Uh, they've been in the top eight in the country the last 10 years in three-point field goal percentage. So there's a lot of shooters in that conference and something we got to do a lot better job this year is guarding the three-point line. Ark McCurchin returning as your leading rebounder and scorer. What do you like about him? Well, uh, Ark has got a lot of energy, a lot of passion to play the game. And the, the thing I like the best is he's in unbelievable shape. Uh, we just had his body fat tested the other day. It's, it's, it's down to about 6%. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he checked in last year about 232. He's weighing about 215 now. Uh, you know, and, and it's not fat. Uh, so he, I like what he brings from an emotional standpoint for our basketball team. How much have you determined who will be starting for you guys right now? Is it still pretty open, or do you, are you starting to get an idea? I haven't, haven't determined anything yet. You know, we're, we're still too, you know, too close, too, too, just start. It's the start right now, and it's, there's only nine practices. So uh, what we're doing is just trying to figure out uh, the way we want to play and how hard we want to play. And, and uh, there's no starting spots right now, which kind of makes it good. You know, only one returning starter in Paul Mapawe, but but uh, you know we got a lot of guys battling for minutes, and that's kind of what makes it fun. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how much does that make practice even that much more competitive when you really have guys competing for for jobs? Oh, it makes it a lot more competitive. Uh, you know, you know, every basketball player wants to play. I mean, that's what it's all about. And 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 like we've challenged them in this preseason uh, is is no one has their spot. So let's go out and compete every day, do the very best we can, and 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 let the chips fall where they may. You mentioned some newcomers. I know you talked after the first 
practice about uh, Pat Ingram and, and Chris Sarbaugh. What do you like about them? And also the other, the other three guys that you did mention, what do you like about this group of newcomers? Well, uh, Chris and Pat both have uh, a lot of leadership qualities. Both have played Division I basketball before. Both are older. Uh, you know, Chris is, is 22, Pat's 21. Uh, they, they've, they've been through it a little bit. So uh, they've, they've done a nice job being our floor leaders to this point. We have three really good freshmen. Uh, a freshman that I'm really excited about, Nick Blair and, and Miles Franklin and Tyler Bremhall. All, all are kind of all different positions, but all good young players that will be very good vandals in years to come. Big Sky Conference now changing their, their tournament setup. You now got a 12-team tournament that will be at the neutral site. I mean, it's kind of nice. Last year, I know, at the end, you guys didn't even know where you were going to be playing until basically the very end. Uh, what do you think about the new setup? It's awesome. Uh, you know, we were just out there last week for the Big Sky meetings, and, and it was great. Uh, the, the facility's good. Uh, Reno's really excited about hosting us. Uh, this year for the Big Sky Conference Championship, and I think it's going to be awesome. You know, all 12 teams are there. Like you said, uh, you know, last year we didn't know. This year we know we're going to Reno. Uh, the top four seeds will have by. Obviously, that's that's one of your that's one of your goals is is not have to play the first night of the tournament. But I, I think it it really helps the Big Sky Conference. I think it'll be a great week in, in Nevada at the end of the conference season. And finally, Coach, I mean, as we are talking just about the end of the season, what, what goals are you guys hoping to accomplish this year? Well, you know, you, you always have the normal goals. You know, you always want to win the, the conference title and, and, you know, advance the NC2A tournament. Those are, those are goals that I, you know, they're always out there. Uh, you know, the one thing I want to see this, this team do is, is, is really set our mark on how we're going to play and how we want to play. Um, you know, this team has the ability to play really hard, be really physical. Uh, you know, and, and be a team that, that Vandal fans uh, can, can, can like, uh, you know, and I really like them. I, I think there's a lot of really good people on this team, and you'll see us play with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. And that's kind of what I like to see this team do is, is be a lot more consistent than last year's team was in terms of energy, effort, and being able to do that game after game after game. He's men's basketball coach Don Verlin. Coach, always a pleasure. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Well, up next, we talk with women's basketball coach John Newley as women's basketball prepares for their season as well. We're back here next on Inside the Vandals.